Kaleka says the Public Protector's Office has faced unprecedented challenges in the last financial year following the removal process of Mkwebane. She says the office has faced legal costs of over 30 million rand, some of which are being questioned. The legal costs regarding cases that the, P that the PPSA was not supposed to have paid for, this issue was also brought um, to the attention of the public protection. It hence we discontinued payment of these cases immediately after her suspension. This also involves some of the litigation that took place in the Western Cape. So when we did that, we actually brought that to her to her to her attention. Now the reason why we have not properly finalized this, there has been consultation with National Treasury. Several of Mkwebane's legal cases are also being questioned as well as the unapproved cost of 3.7 million rand to house her at the Brinterion Ministerial Estate, she cited safety concerns as the reason. The information on the accommodation is there, but we didn't want to approach Treasury in piecemeal because besides the accommodation, the information, the, the expenditure on accommodation, we want to check whether there isn't any other, remember there were court orders personal costs that were given to the PP. And at some point, uh, we, 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 we got a sense that some could have been paid by the Public Protector South Africa. So we want to do all the calculations of every money that we could have paid, that we shouldn't have paid as an institution. Parliament is also seeking legal advice as to whether Mkwebane must be paid her gratuity. At no stage has PPSA even made an attempt to try and say that amount, we will consider paying that amount or whether that amount is payable or not. The determination for the public protector and the deputy public protector is not done by the institution, is done by processes outside of the institution. So what the institution has done in this respect is really to approach parliament. Uh, the latest uh, report or communication we received received from their legal services is that they were in a process of procuring a senior counsel um, to give them an, a, a, a legal opinion. The Public Protector's Office says it's relieved it will not suffer budget cuts, but it says it needs more money to fulfill its mandate. We need 11 million, at least in the current financial year, uh, which grows to 12 million and 15.3 million in the outer year. Meanwhile, Galeka says her office will determine the costs from Kwebane to repay after finalizing consultations with National Treasury in the next two weeks. Mkwebane's term of office was due to expire on Saturday, but she was impeached last month on grounds of misconduct and incompetence. A new public protector is yet to be appointed, while Galeka remains the recommended candidate to take up the hot seat. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.